and, and again, I don't, I really never like to just pull out a scripture and read that one scripture. As most of you know, uh, if I'm going to read scripture, if I have you turn in your Bible, we're going to le- read, you know, eight, ten verses before we even get to the verse that I really want to talk about. And the reason for that is because we have to keep these things in context. Or you can make the Word of God say anything you want, and you can make it go way off in, in the left field somewhere. And so we don't want that. But <clears throat> for sake of time, uh, I'm giving you the references, and if you want to go back and you can hear what I'm saying about these things, and you can go back and make sure that what we're talking about fits within the context of the overall passage. Right? So as I tell people all the time, never just take my word or anybody else's word for it. Go back in, investigate. <clears throat> Me feeding you will not make or keep you strong. Right? What <clears throat> the, a, a teacher, a minister, is not supposed to spoon feed you to keep you alive. They are supposed to instruct. They're supposed to, as we read the other day, to warn, to teach, and then so that they can be, so that you can be presented, right? And that means we have to give it to you, tell you how to use it. Uh, really, we should look at ministers more like personal trainers to be able to say, okay, I can't do the exercises for you, but I can show you the right way to do them, and I can tell you how to do them, and if you will do them, you will benefit. If you don't, you won't benefit. It's just that simple. Nobody can do your spiritual stuff for you. You must do it for yourself. Amen? Now, we can get you healed, right? We can get you free. We can't make you stay healed, and we can't make you stay free. You have to pick it up and run with it yourself. Amen? Now, so uh, 